Hey friends, I'm Stacy. And I'm Kevin. And we have been busy working on a cargo camper conversion trailer. Mm. Very busy. Is that how you say that? Yes, cargo. It's anyway, just... it's a cargo camp. You have mustard all right there. <laughs> We've been busy working on a cargo camper trailer. We basically took a cargo camper and totally gutted it and redid the whole thing. And we are super excited about it. And we are now at the place where we are ready to give you a tour. A tour. Which I cannot be more excited that it it's done and to be done. Taylor is our daughter and Eric is her husband. And so we sold them our Jeep, our two door Jeep Wrangler, which is a 2007. Mm -hmm. And we had a five by eight car cargo camper that we pulled behind it. Well, naturally they needed to have a camper to pull behind their Jeep. So that's why we actually decided to do this build. Mm -hmm. And this build ended up actually being a six by 10, but it was an all aluminum frame and we did give it a test drive ahead of time to make sure that it didn't pull too much wind. If you're familiar with the 2007 Jeep Wrangler, um, they don't have a ton of horsepower. Uh, they can't pull a lot. So we had to be very cognizant of the fact that it needed to be within a certain weight range and be able to be pulled. So we do want to just let you know as well that if you have any questions about it and if you want to see some of the specific projects, you can go to our channel and click on some of those specific, the specific escape pod is what they call it. You can click on those links or you can also go to our website at www.befreebenson.com and we'll put a link in the description below. So we're ready to show you around. We're going to start with the outside, but hang in there because the inside is what I'm most excited about. All right, so one of the first things we tackled when we got the cargo trailer were the stabilizer jacks on all four corners. And the reason we did that is because we were going to be working on it, we wanted to make sure it was very level and very stable while we were doing the, doing the renovation of the, of the trailer. And here is the awning. An awning for us is essential because we love shade. And it also just gives it that camper feel because in a cargo camper, the outdoors is as much, a, it, it's as much a living space as the indoors. So you wanna make it as nice as possible. So a couple things that were crucial to uh, being able to enjoy the outdoors is actually having some LED lights that are um, motion activated. You can also turn them on and off of the button. If you're gonna put these on the outside of your cargo camper, make sure you have one that you can turn off and on with a button. Otherwise, they'll be on when you're going down the road at night and it's white light so you can get pulled over for that. Also, we put uh, GFCI outlets on the outside here and uh, so that we could power coffee makers and different things like that when we're either hooked to shore power or we have a generator going. You will notice that we got an RV door on the cargo camp, on the cargo trailer, because we were going to use this as a camper. So it's really nice to have the cargo door, the, the camper door rather than a regular cargo trailer door. Also essential, especially for people like me that are really short. If you don't want to uh, lose a limb when you're getting in or out, this RV step slides right in and stores very easily there so that you don't have to worry about somewhere else to keep a step or a ladder or anything like that slides right out and makes it super easy for going in and out of the cargo camper obviously if you turn a cargo trailer into a camper you have to have a window you need to be able to see outside plus it is great in those situations when you can open the window and just have some cross breeze going through so we've got a window on this side and on the following side as well one of my favorite things about the cargo camper is having a shelf on the outside it's really easy you can do it with one finger and you can put it up and then very quickly it goes right back down in stores, but I use this all the time in mine. And so this is fantastic for putting your coffee pot on, setting things on when you're stopped somewhere, whatever you want to use it for. That shelf is phenomenal. In addition, I just want to point out how beautiful the side looks. We ended up doing a wrap on part of this and I'm not even going to go into detail why you'll have to check out one of our other videos for that, but this, looks fantastic. 
You're probably saying, hey, those don't look like stock trailer wheels. They're not. They're actually wheels and tires off of a 2018 Jeep Wrangler. And to achieve this, what we did was we actually, uh, from the dealer that we got the camper from, we got an axle flip kit and we flipped the axle and got about an additional six inches of clearance. And then we went to the, uh, swapped it over to the Jeep wheels and tires. This is important because one, you need that additional clearance to be able to do stuff when you're going off road with your camper. And it really just allows you to go over train that you wouldn't be able to go on uh, otherwise. Plus, I mean, look at it, it looks a lot better. It really looks a lot more aggressive. Just uh, just really kind of makes the whole thing come together. All right, so this camper actually has the barn style doors. On our five by eight, we just had a single one that opened, but actually this, I kind of like this a little better because it really allows you this to, not having one big heavy door, but having two. We also put the light on this door. So if they latch it in, they can have additional light in their living area, depending on what's going on at the time. You'll notice on this side of the camper, we have mounted a gas can. It's really essential when you're boondocking, when you're going off-roading and those kinds of things, that you have extra gas with you because sometimes you're using a generator versus shore power. And you wanna make sure you have enough gas with you. It's also great because if you're jeeping and you run out of gas, ha, you got some gas. You'll also notice on this side that this is where we have the, the hookup for the electric, as well as another solar light and more uh, GFC, another GFCI outlet on this side as well. It's really, really handy to have those electric, uh, those additional electrical outlets. Doesn't cost you very much when you're in the grand scheme of things when you are rebuilding or you're building a camper. So we made sure we put in lots of outlets. All right, so we mounted uh, a spare tire on the outside of the vehicle. What we did, we put in a little aluminum angle iron type stuff to uh, create a foot. And then we also, we've got a spare tire mount from Amazon and connected it through around the stud on the inside and made sure that it's very, very secure. So you're probably wondering what's under this and this is actually a mini split AC system. And the reason we went with the mini split is because it's a much more efficient way. It's so much quieter. It's a heater and air conditioner together and it will allow us to eventually use solar as well uh, because of the sear rating and the, uh, the efficiency of it. So while you're driving though, you don't want stuff flying up into your coil and the different things that are in there. So this got this handy handy cover that you can put over it. When you get to where you're going, then you can take it off and actually run the unit. And if you look here, um, the way we did everything, we came through the side of the wall here. We've got an extra GFCI outlet here. And here's one cool thing. You're like, well, what'd you do here? Well, what this is, is we actually put um, like a nut on top of here that we can use an impact wrench to raise it and lower it without having to have a handle that would be in the way. And now it's time for the inside. So the first thing that you'll notice is that we have a shoe holder on the back door, which is absolutely essential for space and places to store things. This gives you a whole lot more space to store various items. There's also a screen, a magnet screen that is on the door. Having a screen door just allows you to really keep that door open and have the opportunity to keep bugs out. Because remember with your cargo camper, the outdoors is as much your inside as the inside is. We used the extra piece off of the shoe holder to create a shelf, a hanging wall shelf. We have a full size bed. It is just slightly shorter than a full size bed, but it works perfectly in this space. You'll notice the ceiling is a cedar ceiling with recessed lighting. There's a bench and the bench covers all the electrical as well as has space for storage and will also be used for solar in the future. The flooring is linoleum flooring. The 
cabinetry in the front is custom made for this space and on the front there are cargo nets to keep all of the items that are stored secure while driving. The cargo nets also are a pocket as well to store other items inside. Every little bit of space that you have in a cargo camper is essential so you want to maximize all your space. You'll notice that we have the mini split unit on the inside and this unit is so quiet which is just one of the real advantages to having that mini split as well as it will be able to be run on solar in the future. There is a small fridge You have your paper towel holder, which we are very strategic with where we place the paper towel holder because you want to access, be able to access the fridge and the paper towel holder while standing outside. You'll notice on the walls as well that there are LED lights. For those times when you are in a spot that doesn't have electricity and you don't want to turn on your generator. A really cool part is that you can open the back wide open and get to bring the outdoors indoors. Hidden right under the corner of the bed is the portable restroom. Look at how much space is located underneath the bed for storage and for bringing all of your camping items with you. cargo camper turned out great. It's even better than I expected. I am really excited about it. What do you think? Uh, it's wonderful. It really turned out nice. So excited for Taylor and Eric. Yeah. Let's go see what they think. We love it. It's amazing. There's so much space in here. I think it's going to be just perfect. It's everything I ever wanted. It's so cute and cozy and I think we're going to have the best adventures. Hey friends, I'm Stacy. I'm not in the mood for silliness right now. <laughs> okay, ready? All right. Do you want me to go first? Yes. Okay. okay. Here we go. For the sprawl ball. <laughs> it's like the TikTok dance. Ow! <sighs> Better. Hey, what are we doing? Telling me how you like it. Okay, ready? Go. Hi. <laughs> okay, let's lean together. There we go. How do you make a heart? Staring at the woods. <laughs> and then in the middle of the night, we need to go potty. She needs to do that. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>